so the yesterday session for wall street uh, was green because the closing that has happened across the indices was in green okay but that's the face value so let's discuss about what has happened and what does it mean that's the most important thing and then we will discuss what will probably happen so first of all dow jones closed uh, at 32889 or 72 points higher simultaneously 72 points higher for nasdaq and 12 points 12.2 point for s&p 500 but uh, what's the worth of this move that's the big question so i mean i have discussed about uh, this range in my previous videos and this range persist and persist for last couple of months now what happened yesterday that's the big question so let us go to the 5 minute chart and then you will see that there was an upswing and uh, then there was a downswing so the move has actually started somewhere from uh, let me show it to you yeah somewhere from here okay it, this is not about the move the move that has started uh was like this okay this red line and then it has fallen like this so we hardly have anything to you know cheer about as far as dow jones price movement is concerned and that is why yesterday session was not positive okay although it closed in green but the thing is if you are looking at the overall trend or the range the big trend uh, is active and we are trading at the lowest end of the range and in that sense if you go for a swing trade you can do that but uh, right now you just need to trail your support and stop losses rather than using uh, 32677 as your support you just use 32827 as your immediate support or support on the downside and uh, you can go long if dow jones continues to sustain above that so this is how you are going to approach dow jones talking about nasdaq nasdaq performed well i would say but uh, nasdaq still hits the resistance and it is trading below the resistance level so if you want to go as far as nasdaq is concerned wait until nasdaq crosses 11520 and 11570 if only nasdaq started trading and most specifically sustaining above 11570 then you can go long otherwise if it continues to trade in between 11520 and 11570 580 it do, it does mean that uh, you know it is very near to a breakout but it also means that it is unable to surpass the resistance in which case nasdaq will again started falling down so that's the big risk okay so let the move happen and then decide your uh, you know decide your move what you are going to do simultaneously for snp 500 uh, yeah here we are so snp 500 is trading in between 3,990 on the downside, or let's say 3,900 on the downside, and 4,100 on the upside. Okay, so you know, just because it is uh, trading, uh, let me just readjust this. Yeah, so it is not 3,919, 3,890 on the downside, and 4,100 on the upside. And if you are looking at the current price, it is trading somewhere in the middle of the range. so it it would be better if you just uh, ignore this trade okay or if you want to go long or short keep a strict stop loss like if you want to go long then uh, keep your support or keep your stop loss at 3944 and if you want to go short keep your uh, uh, stop loss at 4028 okay so this is what you are going to do but because s&p 500 is trading in between a range it would be better if you just leave it and uh, focus on nasdaq and dow jones so for today's trading session uh, every indices is giving an individual uh, signal or it's completely different from one another so choose your trend 
and act accordingly so this is the end of the video thanks for watching